Hello friends, and thank you for joining me for some long A writing. So we are focusing on words that have this spelling pattern in it. It'll have A and then a consonant and an E. And it can also have a letter before it. So you'll see what I mean as we go through it. It can be like this, or it can be consonant and then the A, consonant and E. So that E tells the A to say its name. And that's our silent E, our silent friend at the end, who doesn't say anything, but he helps out the vowels in the middle to say their names. All right, so we are focusing on that long A sound, which basically just means that A is saying its name. Okay, so we're gonna make some words here. It says write the missing letter for each word and then write the word underneath it. So it gives us a picture clue. So we have a picture here, this says G and T. If we put the A in here and our silent E friend, we know that that's going to jump over here and say, come on A, it's time for you to say your name, say your name A. So it's going to be G, A, T, gate. And the E doesn't make any sound. We don't say gate or anything like that or gate or gate. Okay, gate. All right, so we're going to write it ourselves underneath it. G A T E gate. And I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but you're going to do your nicest writing always when we write together. Okay, next one. Ooh, this is my kind of word. This is a picture of a cake. So this already has the A and the E in here, but we need to write what we think makes the Sound. And it's a cool word because it's going to use both letters that make the k sound. So think about it a minute. What are two letters in the alphabet that both make the sound k? All right. So one of them is C, k, A, and then the other one is K, k, A, k, cake. And our E doesn't say anything. So we're going to write it down here. C-A-K-E spells cake. Yummy. All right. Next one, little guy, and he's going like this. Okay. So we have the W and the V. So we're missing the A sound in there. So we're going to write our A and our E. And now it becomes W. A -V. Wave. And I'll write that underneath here. Wave. All right, doing a good job. We got gate, cake, wave. All right, if we go down here, and this is something that probably not many too, not too many people play these days, but I used to play them when I was a little girl, and that is a game with dice and cards and little uh, things that you move around, little placeholders that you move around the game. Okay. So it is a game, okay? So g, g, we have our G at the beginning, g, a, m, our M is missing, and then our silent E at the end, and we write it right underneath, g, a, m, game. Okay, this is something that uh, if you were hurt, your leg was hurt, or maybe you were an older person that you would use to help you walk. And it is called a cane. And if you look at it, it's the shape of a candy cane. If it were red and white striped, it would be candy cane. So we have to write cane. We have the k and the n. We need the a in the middle. So we know it's going to be that a-e spelling pattern. k a n cane. C A N E, cane. All right, now here's this crazy kid down here who looks an awful lot like this guy, but I colored him different. Uh, and he is pretending to be a superhero, it looks like. And this is something that my daughter does all the time. She runs around the house in a cape all the time. So he is wearing a cape. We're going to write cape. She just had a purple one on yesterday. All right, so we are missing the k. So in this case, it's a C, K, A, P, 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 a P, and then E at the end. So let me write that. C, A, P, E, cape. All 
right, let's go through and read those. Gate, cake, wave, game, cane, cape. And I encourage you to do that. Once you're finished, go back through and see if you can read the words yourselves. And the pictures are great clues, but try to cover up the pictures sometimes. Have your mom or dad fold your paper for you maybe, and then you try to sound it out. Okay, that's how we get to be good readers, by practicing. So if you look at these, uh, they follow that pattern. They have a consonant here and a consonant here, and then the two vowels here. And then if it were just a short one without something in the beginning, vowel, vowel, consonant in the middle. So this would be like if we had eight, eight, but not like the number eight. It's going to be like you ate a piece of delicious cake yesterday, okay? Or I already ate lunch, okay? And then let's see if I can come up with a different one. Okay, I'm inspired by the cake. If I put this here, a consonant and a consonant, my two vowels here, b, ache, bake. And remember this little guy, he's just on his best behavior. He's just sitting there quiet and he is just helping out the vowel that's in the middle. And this time it's an A. So he's telling the vowel in the middle to say its name. All right. And I hope you enjoyed that and have a good rest of your day.